<laughs> yeah, imagine this thing with a proper exhaust. Now for the last ride of today we have the Kawasaki Z650 2022 model as well on this white and red color to be honest it's not my favorite color I would prefer the green and black traditional Kawasaki colors let's swing a leg over it this one's a little bit tall have my wife jump in the back as well as she has been my passenger for all these rides reviewing it from the from the passenger perspective and yeah we just started it up the nice TFD display uh, let's see if we have some riding modes no I think it's only a single riding mode I don't see ride mode switching buttons here so we should be all good <laughs> wow that guy just burned a lot of clutch there <laughs> he's probably used to a uh, a close to the handlebar clutch grip but <laughs> man that the Z the Z900 RS that I just rode it's with the high clutch setting and that wasn't pretty to hear wow we're chilling on sixth gear the tachometer here shows 4000 rpms at 50 miles an hour so pretty short gears but I think they do that in order for it to have somewhat decent pickup it's very progressive it's not overwhelming at all but probably because I'm in top gear so as soon as we come to a stop hopefully soon I'll be testing out yes there we go red light let me test actually the rear brakes yeah the rear brakes are solid very good front brakes now very solid yeah stopping power on this bike is all right and as usual for street bikes the front suspension is, is a little bit too soft so it dives a lot under heavy braking but that's expected so hopefully we'll be able to make a nice pull here from the red light going through the torque band so we'll get a feel for the proper acceleration on this bike yeah it has lots of pickup but it's mostly geared as a city and short trip motorcycle I think for the, the highway and plus 70 miles an hour speeds it wouldn't be at its best or natural habitat yeah because I own an MT-07 I can make a direct comparison between the bikes so regarding engine note that's hands down for the MT-07 the parallel twin isn't as appealing as the cross plane twin for the MT-07 suspension wise it's pretty much the same because the MT-07 also has budget suspension geared towards comfort so it dives a lot under braking but it is what it is aesthetic wise it's very subjective some will think that the 07 is prettier some will think that this one is prettier so kind of on the fence for that I have a soft spot for Yamaha so I prefer the looks of the 07 but this isn't uh, an ugly bike as well 
just that for me the the position of the turn signals and the silhouette of the tank that's the the biggest downsides aesthetic wise for me on this bike but it's not a, an ugly looking bike yeah I feel like it's torque band it's around 5,000 to 6,000 rpm right here so yeah that's where you would willy the better <laughs> with this motor because it's a torquey engine so you can easily do clutch ups on this but again that that's only fun around city speeds not at highway speeds continuing with the comparison i think flickability and handling wise this bike has the edge for just a bit i feel that it tilts and changes direction just this slightly better than than the mt07 but that's not really a selling point here let's punch it once more yeah very good very good pull but as I did this full power pull now I can easily say that MT-07 has a little bit more oomph to it now talking about riding position so I feel that this bike is a little bit more unforgiving for taller people the MT-07 is also rough on people taller than and 59 510 I think it's the pegs position the passing the, the rider pegs the OEM position is a little bit more upwards on the chassis compared to the MT07 which makes it hard for for people that are tall which could, is a big plus for people that are are short right so there is that if you are like five five or five six this is the dream bike for you right here should be very comfortable and fit like a glove so as we downshift here very straightforward and forgiving throttle calibration here so makes riding this bike very very easy super forgiving but because it's super forgiving it's also a bit bland if I can say that it, it has a good feeling to it it's not muted but it's definitely not as as well tuned as it's for the Z900 RS for example twin cylinder has good engine braking to it complements a lot of braking power That's, this is a fun motor it has just the right amount of, of power not too much to overwhelm you and not too little to have you board so it's cool very cool So as we wrap up the little test demo ride on the Z650 
summarize all my points it's a great competitor maybe a bike is bad compared to the to the options right uh, meaning features wise but then the price point is a, also a big factor and the combination of the two build the what we call the cost benefit of an acquisition so yeah this bike has a great uh, cost benefit score because even though it doesn't include everything that the other competitors include it's priced competitively so this is it really enjoyed this day on Kawasaki demo here on Arizona city of Tucson if you like the content please consider dropping a like subscribe for more content like this and catch you next time